Good morning guys, it's Heather and today is Friday, December 13th. It is a soggy mess around my house. It has been raining nonstop. And of course, yesterday I mopped all my floors and now I have two dogs that have to go outside to go to the bathroom and I am playing Find the Puppy Prince. I'm gonna to start today with my, just like I did yesterday, this is my 12 Days of Beauty Advent Calendar from Trader Joe's. So I'm counting down from here till December 24th, Christmas Eve, will be my 12 Days of Christmas. So yesterday I got the Cranberry Cider Shimmer Body Wash, which I forgot to take downstairs when I took a shower yesterday, but I thought about it when I ended last night's vlog. God, it smells so good. I will bring it down this morning. We ended up catching up on The Voice and staying up kind of late to see who's going into the finale next week. And I'm happy with the, I'm happy with who went through. We never watch it in time, so I never get to vote. So how do I have any say? All right, let's see where number two is. It's kind of hard to see these numbers. I hear Indigo in the background trying to get my attention. Uh, oh, there it is, number two, right here. Let's see. Okay. This morning we have, yeah, I'm gonna need my glasses. All I see is a number three on it. Trader Joe's all for one, number three, one, all for one, one for all, formula number three, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in one. Um, the bottle has been leaking, you can see here, and so it's, you know, I've lost a significant amount, and it is a little bit messy on the inside, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to wash my hands now after this. It just smells clean. It doesn't really have a scent. All right. So that is my Trader Joe's advent calendar. Today, I only have a few things on the agenda. I do have a FabFitFun style box that I forgot was coming. Um, and I, so I will, you know, I'll probably go ahead and open that now and then I'll do the try on in a little bit. Um, I hear Adam on a conference call right now, so I know he can't film. And I do have to get out to the post office today to return my Amazon Prime wardrobe and my Spanx order, because I didn't do it yesterday, I was too busy cleaning the house. And I have a vet appointment with Indigo at 2.20 with her doctor for, um, oh, that's heavy, for her yearly shots and heartworm tests and all that so that I can get another six months of heartworm medication for her. All right, here is my FabFit stunt, FabFit Fun style box. Let me move my thank you cards over here. And let's, I'm try, I tried to move things around on my desk a little bit. To, the camera fits better over here and I, I liked filming it over here because you could see my Christmas tree in the background. But over there, the window blows it out. It probably wouldn't today because it's so rainy. But tomorrow is the gender reveal party. And of course the cannons have to go out off outside. And I'm praying, the weatherman says it's supposed to be nice tomorrow afternoon, but we're gonna have rain in the morning. So <sighs> fingers crossed. All right, I've got stuff static cling to everything. Here is my return mail. Fabric Fun Style is a subscri clothing subscription box, just like all the other ones that we um, have used over the years. And, oh, it looks like they've got some sale stuff. Oh, okay, now I'm seeing another pair of glasses here. I'm seeing the keep all price. So they've changed it where you the regular price of something is on one side and then the keep all price is in red. Let's read her notes. Well, hey, Heather. Welcome back to Fat Fit Fun Style. I am super excited to update your wardrobe with new winter looks. I have included a few pieces that I think you will adore. The Connie Ankle Skinny Jeans are a perfect pair, and I've already got them. Oh, I'm not wearing them today, though. Uh, perfect pair with sweaters and boots in the season. Try the jeans with the Ever Everest V-neck sweater with the Cape Cod off the shoulder top. The gray top can also be worn with the matching Kendra thermal joggers for as comfy loungewear. For all your upcoming holiday parties, try this gorgeous Brittany lace dress or the Alexa floral print tie front top with your black ponte pants. I hope you love these looks. I can't wait to hear your feedback. Have a fantastic week slash weekend. Kiss hug, kiss hug. 
Kendra, P.S. for exchanges, reach out. Oh, guys, it tells me how far we need to do an exchange. So there are six item in, items in this box, and this time I'm not seeing any jewelry. Um, the styling fee is $20, and I don't know how you sign up other than the fact that when I did the FabFitFun box, you know, the lifestyles box, I clicked this as an add-on, and so I just get one once a month. All right, let's see. This is it looks like the top one is a Cape Cod off the shoulder top. I'm not, what? that doesn't seem like an off the shoulder. Maybe it's supposed to go sideways. It's a gray thermal. Oh, this one's called Summer Rose. And I'm not seeing anything in here that says Summer Rose. And this is the only gray top that's in here. So I guess Cape Cod off the shoulder top is by Summer Rose. It's just the, all right, it is this style and the brand of it is Summer Rose. So it is a gray thermal. I don't, I don't know how this is gonna be off the shoulder. Maybe it's just like a one shoulder thing with a cute bra underneath it. It does have like a gathered long wrist area. It's very soft. It's very soft and this is in a size medium. And the price of this is, okay, the regular price is $48. If I were to keep it all, it's 36. So it's not a bad price. I just, it looks a little small. All right, this next one, I think this is one of the ones she was talking about for holidays. This one is by Willow and Clay, the Alexa Floral Print Tie Front Top. Okay, I like the, I like the pattern. I think that's very pretty. It does tie at the bust in the front. It's a V-neck with a tie bust. I'm seeing it's more like a peplum style. Is there a zipper here? There is a zipper that goes up the side. So I'm glad to know that because I tend to not see those things and then try to get them on. So maybe that will make it work. That's in a size medium. I think that's gonna be one size too small because there is no stretch in this whatsoever. So the price of this is $62 regularly. Keep all prices $46.50. Um, it's pretty. It looks very short. It's very pretty though. I, I do like the, the floral print. I'm not sure how I like the tie in the front. All right, here, it looks like these go with that other thing. It, they do, they do. These are, have to be by Summer and Rose, they are. So they are thermal joggers. This is definitely a stay in the house outfit. I will try this on as like a pajama set here. Um, there are faux pockets in the back, indigo. Real pockets in the front. A tie waist that is actually a, a drawstring. These are in a size medium. And the keep all price is $36, regularly $48. <laughs> so this is a thermal set here. And they, they do go together. Put that over here. All right, here is something navy blue. This is the Brittany Lace Dress. And I, I can tell you right now, there's no stretch in this sucker. And she probably sent it to me in a size, oh, she sent it to me in a size large. This is by Skies Are Blue. It is a navy blue lace dress. It is fully lined. Hmm. Okay, I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. It does have a zipper in the waist here to help you get it on since there is no stretch. How far does that zipper go down? That's it, just right there at the waist. I think just as your bra no maybe it goes down a little further it's that seam that's oh there we go that goes down your waist so that should make it easier to get in has a little button in the back but I don't think it's going to be needed to get my head through it I hate trying to do one of these buttons behind my neck so if I have to use that I usually end up not keeping it it's very pretty I don't think I need it but I think it's very pretty I told you that one was $48 to keep all price. Regular price is $64. So that's not a bad price. All right, now these Connie ankle skinny jeans are black. They're not blue. I don't have these. Okay, they're charcoal. Size 8, Connie ankle skinny. Regular price is $89. The keep all price makes them $66.75. They do have the cut hem here. And they have some stretch. Indigo. 
I think she's yelling at Bob. I don't know why Bob is vacuuming today. I did it all yesterday. All right. Maybe I'll try that on with that floral top. And there's one last item in here. It's hot pink. Hot pink. This is the Everest V-neck pullover sweater. Size medium. The color is pink. Regular price is $89. The keep all price is $66.75. It's actually quite cute. It's got the little marbling in it. It is a deep V-neck, so I feel like that's going to require a tank underneath it of some sort. Okay, I'll try that on with those black jeans too. So I think that's what I'll do first is the two shirts with the black jeans, then either the dress or that thermal outfit. And that will be my FabFitFun okay. style try on for the month of December on December 13th. So I've got the first two pieces on. Actually, I tried to put on that black floral top. It is too small. There's no stretch in it whatsoever. So unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to see that one on and that one has to go back. I do have on the Everest V-neck sweater. It's very soft. I really like it. I think it's too, I mean, the sleeves are very long and I don't think this is the kind of sweater that's gonna look good with the sleeves rolled up. I do actually like the pink with that little white and there's little gold specks in here, white, black. I think it's really cute. It's a little cropped. Um, so I don't really like that part about it. The Connie, <coughs> excuse me, the Connie, Connie ankle skinny jeans are perfect. These are in the color charcoal. I do actually really like these. So, so far they may be the winner in this box. So I'm gonna put on the dress next and then I'm gonna end in that thermal outfit. All right, now I've got the navy blue Brittany lace dress. It fits magnificently. I mean, there's no tightness anywhere in it. Um, I love the lace, I love the navy blue. There is one problem with it. I mean, there's, it's not a room thing. The seam where the top piece and the bottom piece come together, it is very hard to zipper. My husband had to you know, manhandle it to do it. So I don't think I'll keep it for that and I really don't need another dress right now. All right, so I put the two thermal pieces together by Summer Rose. I'm gonna tell you right now, it is really comfortable. I don't think it's very cute on me. Um, it does have pockets here. It fits fine. I just don't think it's the loungewear that I want. So I'm gonna get my clothes back on and I'll let you know what I'm excited. So I just went down to let the dogs in and decided to try this um, thermal top on just with denim jeans. And I think this is what they meant by off the shoulder. Maybe it's like a little lacy bra there. I think it's much cuter just with jeans. And it's very, very soft. So, I do like how it kind of comes in at the waist. It's not like a big boxy. So top, yeah, as I just say top wise, I think it's kind of cute. And I have a couple little lacy bras. I don't know, I'm gonna look back at the footage and we'll talk about it. Okay, so Adam just brought the dogs in from being outside in the rain, so it smells like wet dog in my room. And I did get a chance to look at the footage. Um, I did add that little piece with that thermal top at the end with the jeans. Um, I actually kind of like the top. It's so soft. And I mean, I, I definitely would wear this, especially as a layering piece. So I may keep this thermal top. I won't keep the thermal bottoms and it won't be worn as an outfit, but I do like that thermal top. I guess it's going to be dependent since the prices are either the, the full price or the buy it, the, you know, the keep all price. So merchandise total comes to $400. The keep all discount is $100 even. It's a 25% discount, obviously. Um, my styling credit is $20. So the total, if I kept everything in the box, would be $280. I'm not keeping everything in the box. The dress, I, that zipper was so tough to get past that seam. So tough. Um, and I don't need another dress and I don't need a lacy dress and you know all of that reasons so th that's for sure going back the two items let me just skip ahead because I mean I really like the color of this sweater but that v-neck was so deep you can see my cleavage guys so I would have to wear something underneath it I really like the charcoal jeans um, but their full price is $89 and do I like them $89 worth I kind of do um, I don't have any charcoal. I have black and I have blue. And of course my colored denim, I have burgundy and blue and 
That's it, right? Burger. Oh, no, I have those mm -hmm. coral-colored ones, too. Jackson Indigo. Let's not play right now. <laughs> so if I keep anything, it'll be these two items. Um, this little dress, I knew they're rustling behind me. Guys, shh. Mama's talking. Mama's talking. It's been raining so much they haven't had their regular scheduled like four time a day outside to PLAY and chase the ball and all. So I really thought this was pretty. I just, I couldn't get it on. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the joggers clearly, I mean, it's a comfort thing, a keeping me warm thing would be great, but I don't think they were flattering. And I have all those Soma pajamas that are sitting right here wanting me to show you. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that box too. Maybe this day will just be open up some boxes day, but for sure, the other items are going back. So I may keep the gray top and the black jean or the gray, the charcoal colored jeans. And I may not. I don't know. Let me know you, what you did, would have done. Um, the gray jeans, I feel like I could use. I do have one pair of gray jeans that I bought a while back. And I just don't really like how they're fitting my thighs right now. So, and they're a much lighter colored gray. I wore them the other day and I just wasn't comfortable in them. I like the jeans. I just wasn't comfortable in them myself. So anyway, um, I'm going to consider these two between now and the time that I go to the post office. All right, I'm gonna, give me a second, I'm gonna pull up those Soma pajamas and I might do a try on of that too. All right, as you can see, I went down and I put on the pajamas that I've been wearing here recently. Now, a lot of you have already seen me in these pajamas and a lot of you have already made comments about them. Um, I did get them at Soma on Black Friday, just the set that I'm wearing right now and I will stand up and show you the full thing. I just wanted to, there was a lot of people who had made a comment about that they waited till spring to do any pajama shopping for shorter people because it's easier to find shorter lengths, whether they're capris or whatever. I found these um, ankle length pants at Soma and they're the Cool Nights pajamas. They are crazy comfortable, crazy easy to sleep in. And I feel like I'm kind of put together. It's, I wouldn't say sexy, you know, that's, but when I go to bed, I still want to look nice for my husband, right? So I did buy them in several prints. So what I'm gonna do is in just a second, I'll show you this um, standing up so you can see. I'm not going to do a talk, try on and talk about every set of pajamas. I'll insert a picture at the end of this of the other prints. Um, I did get a little snowflake print with white piping. Um, and a floral that's got like a like a soft pink piping. So, and then I did buy these little suede slippers. I just thought they were super comfortable. Um, I own quite a few pairs of slippers. I am. I feel like the way everybody talks to me is I'm the coldest person on the planet. I don't know, I'm cold all the time. When my husband is warm, I'm sitting there underneath blankets. I sleep with a, right now, I've got a heated blanket underneath my down comforter, between my down comforter and my my top sheet, and that sucker stays on high all night long. That's how I sleep, even in clothing. So um, I will, I'm not gonna show, I did get a second set of these pajamas because I know that they will eventually wear out and I love them and when you find something that fits you so well, you keep them. But I also bought, going into summertime, this little cheetah tank and the little shorts that go with this, which are downstairs, I've already worn those. I'm not gonna bring them up. I'm not gonna try this on. Um, but this to go with the little shorts, as well as, and I didn't take this one out of the bag, for nights that I don't wanna wear a tank, this is just a little sleep tea. So I'm getting all the cheetah that I want at night. All right, uh, let me get my husband and I will show you this one. I'll just take a picture of this one and then I'll try on the other two sets too. You can see the length now. For reference, as you probably already know, I am five foot two and I am a size eight you know, medium. I did buy my tops in a large, uh, well, the these button-up ones because I want the extra room when I'm rolling around when I'm sleeping. In the tank top and the t-shirt, I buy them in a medium. So, but I like the extra, the extra room of this. So let me get at him and I'll have him take a couple of pictures, okay? We're gonna want the top and bottom of the picture. Ready, steady. Maybe? Yeah. Ready, steady. Okay. 
Okay, so I pulled up the um, invoice here of what I purchased in case you're interested in them. Now, the I did get them on sale. I don't know if they're still on sale or not. And they are individuals. They are not the sets. I know that afterwards they did do their sets on sale. The problem that I have with buying sets at any given time is that I need... I, I, sometimes I want a large top and a small bottom or a medium bottom and vice versa. And they tend if I get and in the wide legs and whatever. So I didn't go with the sets. I went with the separates. So this print right here was called Finery Flow, I think is what it's called. I got the top in a large and the bottoms in a medium. They do have a drawstring. They have pockets. And what I like is their ankle length and they kind of taper in just a little bit at the ankle. Not not whether they're like skinny jeans or anything like that, but they aren't the big wide cover your foot trip on it in the middle of the night type of thing. Um, and they're the cool nights. And the regular price for the top was $44. I got it for $30.80. And the bottoms were regularly $42. And I got them for $29.40. So those prices are reflected in all of them. Um, the Obviously, this is the... What do they call it? Fierce Feline is this print. And then the other one, which is over there, is the Snowflakes. Um, and all those prices were exactly the same. Now I did also buy, I love their Vanishing Edge panties and I'm not gonna try these on, but I did grab a little cheetah. Um, they've got this little silicone here. They do not ride up. I, I, have, I used to be a thong only person because I could not stand panty lines. I still don't like panty lines. And these do not cause a panty line. And they don't move. You don't have a wedgie. And I got two pairs of this. And I've got a million pairs downstairs. Well, not a million. I probably have like 30 or 40 different prints. But these were on sale for $13.30. They are regularly $19. And then the little slippers. These are suede. They're the suede slipper. I got them in a size small. And they were regularly $25. I got them for $3.50. So clearly there was a reason why I got these. But for me, when I get up in the middle of the night, most of the slippers that I have have backs to them. You put your foot in, you wear them like a shoe. And they're fine for when I'm walking around the house or in the daytime, but my tile on my bathroom floor is so cold in the fall and winter and spring. And by the time I get to the toilet and back in the middle of the night, and I do drink a lot of water, so I do occasionally go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, by the time I get there, I'm wide awake because my feet are freezing and my butt cheeks are cold. Nothing I can do with the toilet right now because I do ha don't have an outlet in there. I can't put a heated toilet seat, God, I wish. And I'm not spending the money to rip up my tile floors and put in heated floors. Although that would have been, when we built this house, we should have thought of that. But having these next to my bed, I can just slide my feet into them really quick, go to the bathroom and slide them back off without trying to maneuver my foot down inside the heel and all. So, and for $3.50, heck yes. I should have gotten several pairs. So that's that's it for my Soma haul. Um, I, like I said, I do have two pairs of the Fierce Feline ones because I liked them so much. And I know that eventually they're going to fade and I want to have a fresh pair. I'm not even gonna take those out of the package. I'm going to put those away in my closet for you know, when it's time. So I think that's my favorite print out of all of them. And I mean, what other time of my life can I wear cheetah from head to toe and feel comfortable when I go to bed at night? And you know, when I film, I get ready with me in the morning. I don't want to be in a pajama type thing or an, you know, or an old shirt or a tank top or whatever. And I feel a little more put together in that. And if someone, if, if you know, like for Christmas Eve, my stepdaughter and her husband are coming and I can walk around in my pajamas in that and feel very comfortable. I just feel well put together. And they, the pants are like perfect. Now, probably a medium top would have been more perfect for me in the length of the arms and all. And it probably would have fit fine. But I, when I roll over at night, if I'm wearing some of the buttons, it's going to pull and the buttons will come unbuttoned and all. And I don't like that. And this one doesn't do that. I wake up in the morning and it looks exactly the same as I went to bed. So that's it for my Soma. I'll insert those pictures somewhere either before this rant or after this rant. Um, I just thought that was, this is my pajamas for the next good year, two years, whatever. So, I mean, I've got some pajamas in there from Victoria's Secret that I've had, you know, like sleep pants and whatever that I've had for years and years and years. What I don't like, I would, okay, what I do like is things that move with you when you're sleeping. Things that are silky 
with no stretch or like the flannel that has no stretch, they don't, I, I'm a turnover. You know, I flip around when I'm sleeping. I don't lay just completely still. There's nothing I can do about that. And they always get all twisted up and they bind you and you're constantly trying to pull something out of somewhere. I want them to be stretchy and cool and comfortable. And these are, these are it. Sema always has the best pajamas, in my opinion. I've had some in the past. During the springtime, I think they had some capris that were wide leg and they had like lipsticks and compacts or something like that on there. I've since um, passed those to Emily, but this is my new pajamas for the probably the next year or more of my life. All right, I will check in with you guys. I know that this is not gonna be a lot of vlogging because I do have to go to the vet and I don't think you'd have fun with that. Um, I will at least do my advent calendar with the pups and my body shop tonight and that may be all for today. All right, it is about 5.30 in the evening. Um, Adam is out on the front porch fixing some lights in the rain. I know that sounds scary, but he's not in any danger. He knows what he's doing. We had some battery-operated twinkle lights that the batteries just didn't last very long. So we ordered some, they're called firework lights, I think. So he's working on that. We have to leave here in about 15 minutes. We're going over to some friend's house tonight and then going out to dinner with them. Um, it won't be a late night because I have to be up tomorrow morning to prepare for the gender reveal party. But everything I can do tonight is done. I did spend a good portion of the afternoon before Indigo's vet appointment making, I call them snowballs. But I know everybody else calls them like pecan sandies or whatever. So I made six dozen, I think. A few for, to put out of the party tomorrow some for my son-in-law who can't have nuts so i just made him a dozen that doesn't have any nuts in it a dozen to go to our friends who are going tonight just a little baggie of goodies and i you know i was trying to decide whether or not i wanted to bake this this season i always bake i always bake but then i eat the cookies and eating the cookies is not a good idea <laughs> for me right now so I made those because I make them every year and I've made them every year for the last 25 years. And I may make some sugar cookie cutouts and some years I go crazy with my decorating. And I've given them out as gifts before to neighbors and whatever. If I do sugar cookie cutouts this year, I probably won't be as intricate with my icing unless I get Sophia over here and we do it together. So that may happen. I think my husband wants some, sorry, I've been running up and down the stairs, trying to get some Poshmark stuff shipped out and bringing in packages that keep doing delivered. One of them I'm not supposed to look at. We're all, now Adam and I are only doing stocking stuffers this year. So I'm hoping that whatever he did is very small because I've got a few small things for his. But um, what was I saying before? So I'm, I will probably make some Buckeyes for Adam because he likes those, but I won't make very many of them because they're so rich that they're, you can only eat like one or two, which is probably the way to go. That way you're not eating the entire batch. And I don't know. I don't know what else I'll bake. Um, this is probably the biggest batch. I, I, there's probably, I wanna say seven or eight dozen left in there but they're just little bite size and they're so easy and so much butter. Oh my God, but they're so good. Oh my God. Went to the vet with Indigo today and she's great. She had her annual. Um, she's does, she was on the puppy plan. Oh, my vet y'all, he is just, his name is Dr. Chris and he is amazing with animals. So, I mean, the, the, the dogs don't go up on the table. They sit on the floor and show the dog Everything they're gonna do, like if they're gonna give them a shot, they you know with the cap on, they let them sniff it a little bit. He takes the fear out of it with them. He's so patient. He doesn't rush. And sometimes you wait a little extra. I mean, I, I <laughs> they hear Adam on the front porch. Stop, Jax, and they go. But I mean, he, he he doesn't rush you, and he usually gets you in within about 20 minutes of your your appointment time. But. They're just so patient and so kind and so gentle. And like in, I think I've told you guys before that Indigo is MDR one positive on one strand. And so we have to be careful with the medications that she takes so that she doesn't have any medical issues. And he's so cautious about making sure that 
if a drug is something that you know could be even related to a drug that she could have a problem with, that he doesn't give it to her, that he he doubles and triple checks before he does anything. And you can see his brain working. He's so smart, and I completely trust him, and Indigo does too. And by the time we left there, she was panting a little bit. You could tell that she'd had enough, but she had all of her shots for the year. Um, they did end up doing the one-year heartworm. I can't remember what it was called. Um, shot, so I don't have to shove those pills down her throat every month. So Jax will get that in February or March. He's not due till March, but do the doctor said that I could bring him in a month early and then in 2021 bring them in on the same month and I'll have them on the same schedule. He said that won't be a problem at all. But she did great. Jax was a little confused as to why I was leaving without him today. When Adam comes in, I think we'll go ahead and do our advent calendars and call day 13 done so that I don't have to worry about it. I don't know what time we're going to get home tonight. So I don't have to worry about forgetting to do it and next morning going, oh my God. But all right, guys, I'll check in with you guys in just a few minutes. All right, it's advent, advent calendar time again. And today is Friday the 13th. So let's find the number 13 for the puppies. And then mom's got to go get ready to leave. Here, Indigo, come here. I found it. I found it. Do you see it? Oh, there's number 13 right here. Oh, it's a different color. It's like a taupe color, it's brown. Ooh, who wants that so softly? Look at your indigo waiting her good girl turn. That's a good girl. All right, and the mama. Number 13. Didn't I do this one last night? No, I guess I didn't. I did a tri the other triangle, 12. Number 13. In 2017, Jane Austen replaced Charles Darwin on the British 10 pound note. More than 200 years since her death, the writer's work is still universally loved. Let's see. It's another bath bomb. It is. It's a green tea bath bomb. I guess it's time for another bath. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go get ready to go. And we're going to go out. We're going to leave the puppies here tonight in the gym. But they've had dinner. They've seen to go outside and go potty. They have water and some chew toys. We won't be gone too late. You guys have a great evening. And I hope you've had a very happy week. And I, will, I am going to do some sort of filming tomorrow. Tomorrow is the gender reveal party. So I will at least get some footage in the morning once we have all the balloons up and the whole room is decorated and a little bit in the morning, but tomorrow's is probably gonna be a little less, which you're probably saying thank you, Heather, because you've had diarrhea of the mouth all week. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, bye.